Cher, Micah, good evening to you both. You can see the business all boarded up tonight, and they are without hundreds of thousands of dollars in jewelry. Police gave us the surveillance video to share with you. They say what stands out here is how precise and well planned out this was. An unbelievable burglary in the middle of the day. First, you see this car crash into the front of Rodeo Jewelers, a family owned business in Laverne. Four people get out using hammers to get into the display cases. One of the thieves positions himself in between three suspects and the victim who just so happens to be the owner of the store. That suspect picks up a 30 pound chair and attacks the man, hitting him over the head not once but twice as the others work together to grab three $300,000 in jewelry and high-end watches. They executed this crime in a movie-like fashion. Lieutenant Corey Leeper with the Laverne Police Department says the group has a hard time exiting. They end up running over the top of the car to a getaway vehicle in the parking lot. That car is described as a 2013 to 2015 black Nissan Altima. It has custom or aftermarket black and chrome rims, and it had been casing the store leading up to the burglary. It tells me that they're most likely experienced at this. They have some direction from somebody and, and we believe it's some type of organized suffering of some kind. The store now a shell of what it had been. George Bush is a personal friend of the owner who he says is doing okay recovering at home. It's just so blatant now they just in the middle of the day can do this. It makes me feel uh, scared. Yeah, you know, my wife comes down here all that she could have been in the store. As it happens, Bush says this business has been hit before. Pretty alarming to longtime Laverne residents. It was just very like shocking to hear a whole vehicle went into the building and and like one of the most common shopping net centers and you have the police department just a few blocks south from here. It is. It's very brazen. Rita Boston knows what this business owner must be going through. Her lingerie store in nearby San Dimas was burned burglarized in 2019. You know, you work hard to be on the um, be honest and give your customers good customer service. I had it for 27 years and then some stupid person that's not doing nothing. They come in and destroy your whole your whole business. And police Lieutenant Leeper says he believes that these suspects may be connected to other crimes in the area. And so he wants to talk to other police departments to try to connect the dots. As always, anyone with information can and should call over to the Laverne Police Department. We're live in Laverne tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back to both of you in the studio.